naturally with any type of trauma um, comes kind of mental scarring and uh, a lot of kind of things play on your mind, flashbacks, um, you know, anxiety when you leave the house, a bit of paranoia and whatnot. I suppose that can be expected um, with that kind of trauma. Uh, also a bit of, you know, a bit of a low point when I found out about, about my lung. You know, my lungs now permanently damaged. It, it will never recover. I can't do some of the fitness things that I used to be able to do. Uh, so that hit me quite hard, um, and I went into a bit of a, a, a dark space for a little while. I have a lot of emotion about what happened that night, uh, and anger is kind of the way that I have dealt with it and the way that I've pushed myself through it. And I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm quite frustrated that's, that still some people think it's okay to, to pick up a knife when they leave the house and take it with them. Mm. People are calling it an epidemic, uh, and some people believe that carrying a knife is uh, a way to gain status, um, or also a way of protection, and none of those points are true. They couldn't be further from the truth. Carrying a knife is going to leave you at much higher risk of getting attacked and stabbed yourself, um, or you're going to use it in the wrong situation and you, and you might kill someone. It's extremely easy to do that. Um, and people need to be aware of the risks and the dangers involved.